Hello again, and uh, welcome to our 28th Spanish lesson online. We are at www.spanishfreelessonsonline.com. In this lesson, we will uh, learn a bit more about how to say the weather, how to tell the weather, or say how is the weather in Spanish. Uh, we had a previous lesson where we learned some new vocabulary related to uh, telling how is the weather, but uh, now we will learn a bit uh, some other words that we hadn't seen before. We will also see some review some we had seen and uh, some few examples as well, some sentences. So. First of all, the word in Spanish for weather is clima, okay, clima. This means weather in Spanish. Clima. I will spell it C-L-I-M-A, clima. However, the word tiempo that uh, literally means time, the word tiempo is also used quite usual, quite often, quite usually, uh, to refer to the weather. So it's very frequent that people will ask ¿Cómo está el tiempo? How is the weather? ¿Cómo está el tiempo hoy? You can, you can add hoy and would be how is the weather today? How is the weather today? As we've mentioned in some previous lessons, um, the verbs, the Spanish verbs, estar and ser, these are two different verbs in Spanish, but they both translate into the English verb to be. But in Spanish, depending on the function and the use of the verb, you will either use one or the other. And when we are referring to a more permanent state, we use verb ser. When we re refer to a more transitory state, right, we refer, we use the verb estar. That's why when I'm asking how is the weather today, I know that there is not a permanent state of the weather, but the weather is changing at, uh, in every moment, right? So I will use verb estar here. I will not say como es el tiempo. No, I will ask como está el tiempo for how is the weather today. So we have uh, here many different um, possibilities for how is the weather today. We can say it is sunny, está soleado, it is sunny, está soleado. And you will see that we are always using the verb estar, right? because these are transitory states of the weather. We can say, está nublado. Creo que va a llover. This means, it is cloudy. I think that uh, it will rain. In one of our last lessons, we've seen how to form the future tense 
using the verb ir and the word a that means to and an infinitive word a verb at the end so this here we've seen before it's one of the two forms in Spanish for the future tense está nublado creo que va a llover it is cloudy I think that it will or it, it's going to rain literally this means uh, it is going to rain okay so that's the future tense el cielo está celeste y sin nubes that means the sky is baby blue and without clouds nubes means clouds plural right the singular would be without the s right so nublado means cloudy nubes means clouds and nube means the singular cloud está nevando nevando means uh, snowing está nevando it is snowing snowing comes from nieve that means snow okay nieve nieve means snow nevando means snowing creo que pronto va a nevar now we can see nevar as a verb in infinitive this means I think that soon it is going to snow okay so here again we have a future tense creo que pronto va a nevar I think that soon it will or it is going to snow another example is hay mucho viento or we can say the same thing like this está ventoso and this literally means there is a lot of or plenty of the uh, uh, wind so mucho means a lot of or plenty of sorry Pl uh, plenty of means because a lot of would be muchos that's uh, the literal meaning of the word so there is this this is a conjugation of the verb haber haber means to uh, yes to be it's also uh, it's also another of the possibilities of verb to be haber hay mucho viento there is a lot of wind and if we say está ventoso it would be it would mean it is windy which means the same as saying there is a lot of wind only that in English you would just say it is windy but in Spanish it's okay to say there is a lot of wind